Hi, this is Larry Parman with the estate planning law firm of Parman and Easter Day. Today I want to share a few thoughts with you about why people don't plan. Despite the fact that these are very perilous times in America, in fact throughout the world, and people have concern about transferring assets to the next generation with the least amount of court costs and court interference, the least amount of estate tax possible. They are also concerned about not, ha not having their estate eaten up with long-term health care costs incurred by a lengthy stay in a nursing home, and so on and so forth. They're concerned about lawsuits, creditors, predators, and so on. And yet, despite all of this, people still don't plan. An extraordinary number of people still do not have an estate plan in place in this country. So when I visit with people about this process, I want to talk about at least three things. The elements that cause people not to plan and then perhaps what they can do about it. So we know, for example, that there's all kinds of information out there in the marketplace. You can go to the internet, you can talk to people at the country club, at church, and it's very interesting because everyone seems to have an opinion about what constitutes an effective estate plan. And all this information continues to come at us all the time, and we continue to dig into the Internet, and guess what we find? We find that there are almost as many different opinions about how to do things as we can possibly imagine. So if you ask ten questions, for example, and pose them either to attorneys or out on the Internet, you might get back 20 or 30 different answers. So the information, while extensive, is somewhat confusing. And we end up not knowing exactly who or what to believe. So I don't know about you, but any time that I start picking up information and finding a pretty good comfort zone with what I have, then as I start talking to third parties about it and I start getting conflicting reports, I don't know about you, but this confusion sh that typically causes me to shut down. And I tend to procrastinate. And when we procrastinate, that's when nothing gets done. That's when we just stall out and we end up moving on and on and on with no estate plan in place. There are some other factors that I think I should mention here too, and that is people have a thirst to solve complex issues and problems with simple equations. And sometimes it just can't be done. In fact, last night at one of our seminars, I, and a gentleman uh, attended once again for about the third or fourth time, and he was saying the same things that he said a year ago when he came to our program and even came in for a complimentary consultation. He just seemed to have all the answers, and he just couldn't imagine why anything as complicated as his estate and his family situation would be that difficult to put together. So the point is, when someone knows more than the attorney who's counseling on this, it's pretty tough to get a plan completed. So if you fall into that category, I would just ask you to explore that mindset and see whether or not it's contributing to helping you get a plan done or whether it's causing a lot of interference and holding you back, thereby leaving you exposed. It's, it's possible to, to almost know too much because, again, we get into the confusion and we end up procrastinating. This fine gentleman who desperately needs a plan is no further along than he was a year ago on getting something completed. So those are the primary reasons why people don't plan. They may have had issues or they may be unable to make a decision about who they're going to select as their successor trustee or their executor, or they may have family situations about, you know, one child, for example, who's not very good at, at managing money, who's a little bit of a spendthrift. They may have two children who are healthy and a special needs child that deserves uh, special attention. Believe me, there are all kinds of complications involved in a family's life. But here's what you should do. We recommend that wherever you are in the country, if you see this video and you're located in a state other than Missouri, Kansas, or Oklahoma where we have offices, look up the American Academy of Estate Planning Attorneys and on that website find an Academy member that's close to you. Academy membership is vitally important to those of us who belong it's almost, it almost gives us the capability of a national law firm yet retaining the touch and the feel of specialized local assistance and service. 
And you can go to that website. It's www.aaepa.com, the American Academy of Estate Planning Attorneys. Find somebody locally who will help you. Here's why. First of all, Academy members have been endorsed by Money Magazine. Susie Orman has even recommended that people look for uh, law firms that are Academy members. In it, I can almost assure you that if you find that person's name and call them, they will give you an education seminar to attend to help bring you up to date. It will give you the opportunity to clarify some of the questions that you may have, firm up your understanding of the estate planning process, and at the end of that program, they will offer you a complimentary consultation where you can go in and sit down with them, spend about an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes talking about your specific family situation. They will help you design a plan that will fit your family needs. So this whole issue of why people don't plan, the extensive information, so much so that it's confusing, lead, leading to procrastination can be overcome with preparation by going to an academy firm, taking the time to, to attend an education program, read some material, talk to an attorney who's qualified and experienced, and they will show you a roadmap to getting a plan put in place for you and your family. We appreciate you being here. This is Larry Parman. We will talk again soon.